purpose of this training is uh, we are setting up Malaysian uh, Malaysian web page number one, and when we set up the Malaysian web page, also we are going to do for the USA web page. And we are also going to do uh, for the Kenya, Kenya web page, which Sister Vedanti Behan has asked me to actually do for Kenya. So, but I cannot maintain or do all those things on my own. So therefore, each one will probably have to be given some task of updating uh, from time to time. Maybe you look after certain things. Updating is one. Maintaining is one. Building is one. Researching for new material is one. And then on top of that, it is useless to just have a web page, but we do not know how to market the web page. The purpose of having a web page is so that people will come and see the web page. So if you are just having web page, website, every BK country has got website, but how many outsiders come and see it? So some of you will be trained to do that and so on. So this is the main purpose, but we begin with some basic idea how to build a web page. I'm going to teach you today. Okay, all right. So the first thing you need to do is you must have downloaded, you must have downloaded Sublime Text. I hope you're okay. Okay, so anybody don't have, Sister Uma will post it in the chat, that Sublime Text, all right? I hope Sister Uma has it. So please, so you need to click on it and download and get it installed in your computer. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do. Has anybody here got a problem, cannot install Sublime Text? Let me know. Okay. So I will quickly, uh, very fast, I'm going to share my screen. And I'm, uh, can you please allow me to share, Sister Uma? After doing that, after installing Sublime Text, what is Sublime Text? Sublime Text is a place where we will write our code, our coding, the codes for the web page. It's just like a writing pad. But this writing pad is a bit special because it's made for internet codes. So that's why it's special. And then after that, we are going to use uh, codes which are freely available on the net. Uh, that is called bootstrap. Bootstrap. I'm going to show you to you. And then we're going to take the codes from there and build our web page. So today we're going to design one simple one, very simple. And then on a daily basis, on a daily basis, you're going to keep improving it until you can actually build your own very good web page. Okay. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to take you through. All right. Okay. So everybody has done installing. Anybody has got a problem? So if you have a problem and you can't really install, doesn't matter. Please watch first. And then maybe later on, you can watch the recording again and do it. Okay, so I'm going to take you through, but I will show you again. Okay, I'm going to share some sound also. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so I'm going to switch off my video for time being. Okay, great. So I'm going to take you in case you don't know, I'm going to take you to my subline. Okay. So sublime text is very simple. You can just type sublime text. You see? So can you see this is the official sublime text? Click on that. And then it says download for Windows. You just click on it. Uh, or sometimes you might have download for Mac. You can also do that. And then these are the quotes. You see, this is how we write quotes. Can you see here? All these are the codes. So I'm going to show you one by one. Okay, good. So let me close this subline. Once you download, it will automatically download. Then you go to your download file. Download file. Can you see the subline text will be here. You click on it. 
Of course, I think you know this, right? And then it will ask you yes or no. Uh, so you just go on. All right. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Good. So now when you want to look for your sublime text, just go and search and just type sublime text. Okay. Sublime text. There. Can you see that? Uh, and then you just click on it. It will open. All right. This is how it will open. Okay. So mine has got already have some quotes. So yours should look like this empty. So when you click on your subline text, it's going to look empty like this. So we haven't written anything yet. You see that? Okay. So this is all empty. So let's leave that for a while. So what I will suggest is first step, can you please open your subline text? Just test and see whether it's working. I'm going to give you one minute. Open and see whether it's okay, it's working. All right. Make sure it's okay. Anybody is stuck or what? Just uh, quickly unmute yourself and just ask some question. Okay. Or put in the chat. So maybe Sister Uma might help me or somebody. Om just, Shanti, just, Om yes. Shanti, Brother Nanda. Yes. Uh, I already installed on my PC. But okay. now when I go back to it, it asked me to install again. Uh, Okay, so might as well install again. Maybe you wrongly installed. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, okay. So I'm installing now. It's in, yeah. uh, okay. Then I just follow the wizard. Okay, it's finished. Correct. Then where yeah. do I go and open it? Just go to your search, like on my screen now, and then just type sublime text. And then so, it will open and then click. Go to your search and open. It's best to yeah, keep it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can. Do you want to allow this app to change? Yes. Yes, yes. Please click yes. Let's okay, so once you have, again. yeah, good. You have to install again. Okay, finish. Okay. Keeps on and installing. Next step, what you must do is, I want you to create a, a folder. A folder in your, somewhere, maybe in your desktop. And just yeah. call it as website lessons. Website lessons. Let's call it like that. So create a, a folder anywhere, anywhere you like, but make sure it's easy to locate, easy to find. So you can just leave it anywhere. So you can put on your desktop. So create a folder, right click, new folder, create a folder, please, called website lessons. Everybody's okay. I'm going to wait for you. We're going to do it together. Please don't do later. Do it together now. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully, all right. Good. And then open the website lesson and create another folder inside. Create another new folder. New folder. Call it images. Image. We are going to keep our images here. Make sure the spellings are all correct. Uh, images. Whatever you type here is what you're going to use later, the exact name. So type images. Let's also click one more folder, all right? And click new, create one more folder. And let's call it as videos or video, fine. Okay. So remember, whatever you save, you must only save in this file because if not, it won't read because this is our specific file we are doing. So this is the first step. Can you see that? First step. So this is going to be our folder, right? So this is going to be our folder. So once you click your website lessons folder, you should see these two folders inside, images, videos. Everybody's okay? Good. All right. So let's move on a bit, Kenya. Yeah? So keep this folder on your desktop or somewhere easy to find. Next part. Then I am going to go to my subline. I'm, I've just opened my subline. Can you see that? And on top, it is written as untitled. Can you see untitled? Uh, or how do you create this? You just click, click on the black line here. Double click. And you can open one. And then just cross it. You can close it. Okay. So double click on it. Everybody has this. 
Okay, good. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to save this empty file. Save this empty file with a different name. Okay. Now, how you do it, please watch. You just save as, click here. Okay, save file, right? File. Save as, or you can use a shortcut, Control Shift S. Okay, just save as, go to your file and save as, click on it. And make sure you go and choose your just now's folder. Don't choose any folder. Where's your folder? On your desktop, right? Uh, go to that particular website. Let's don't save it anywhere. Must save only in that particular folder. Are you okay? Please open that particular folder. I'm going to show again. Save as file. Save as. If not, just press Control Shift S. The code is here. Click on it. Go to your desktop. Where's your desktop? Choose the folder like just now's folder. Okay. And here you need to put the correct name. Type index. Dot. Please put a dot. Dot. Must have this. If not, it doesn't read. You need to tell what file is this. So it's called HTML, index.html. HTML is a language file which the internet recognizes. Okay, it's called index.html. Can you see that? Save. So now once you save, your... Sublime is now called index HTML. So this is the first step. You need to create the HTML file. Are you okay? Anybody's not sure? Is it under all files, brother? No, where did you save your folder? Go to yeah, that uh, folder, please. Yeah, yeah. But then the uh, bottom, uh, is it save as type? As type? What type? File. Go to file. And then save as. Yes, all type, all files, is it? That doesn't matter. You just type the name index.html. Yeah, all yes. files. Yes, yes, all files. Huh? Okay. Uh, all files. Index, put .html. It will automatically choose and then save it. Yeah, it's on my file now. It's okay, in my good. file. All right, example. Thank you. Now, let's move on. So now the file is ready for us to start pasting or writing our quotes. So now we need to create the header. We need to give instruction. What is this file? This file is actually the instruction to Google, the search engines. We are giving instructions what to read. So this is file is actually an instruction file. So therefore, now we need to create the proper header here. So let's go and copy the header from somewhere. So I'm going to go to my Google, click Google. All right. So watch first. I'll just show you. I'll repeat. Type boot, boot strap. You can type bootstrap or bootstrap 5. That's fine. Bootstrap. Okay. Type bootstrap 5. Yeah, 5. Let's put 5. Enter, and then press Enter. Can you see? It will take you to Bootstrap. Get Bootstrap. Uh, type Bootstrap. What is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is all the quotes that you need. Made easy for you. Mobile friendly, which we don't have to create. So it makes our life easy. We just take from that. All right, so I'm going to click on Get Bootstrap. Can you see Introduction Bootstrap? For any one of these will do. Let's type. So once you click Bootstrap, you should see something like this. Okay, you should see something like this. Anybody don't see? If you don't see, click the Docs, D-O-C-S. Okay, click the D-O-C-S, Docs. You should see this. Okay. Hope you're okay. Are you using Bootstrap version 5.0? It's the, by the site here. All right. Hopefully you're on this page. Then let's do it together. Then can you see you need a template starter page? Ah, that's what we want to do. We want to get a starter page. 
Okay, and this, what is this bootstrap? Bootstrap is the framework or the quotes for building what? Responsive. What's the meaning of responsive? That means your web page can change according to different phones or tab. If your size is different, it changes accordingly. So what we right now we want is we want a template starter page. So type in your search here, template. Starter page. Ah, that's it. Starter template and enter. Enter. So when you type start, then you'll get a starter template. So starter template is the quotes that you need to paste in your subline. Can you see? Everybody has got a starter template here. Okay, so this is all starter template. Don't copy all this first. You can go to the right hand side here. Can you see there's a copy here? And just click on that copy. Uh, you just copy it, automatically copy. You see that? It's all automatically copied. All right. So quickly copy that and then go back to your subline. Click on your subline down here somewhere. Where's your subline? Best to keep your subline somewhere close where you can click on it. And then paste on your subline. How you paste? Control V or you can just go to this and say paste. Where is it? Edit, paste, paste, there, paste. Control V, okay? Paste, control V. So done. So this is how it's going to be. So you've got some quotes here. Don't worry, I'm going to explain to you. All right, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Anybody is not able to do it? Om Shanti, brother. I see yes. your page is all full. Mine is only one uh, link on top only that has okay. cop copied. All right, let's undo. So let's go back to your starter template. Did you get to your starter template? Uh, well, I... Bootstrap? It, uh, okay, we go to the introduction page and then... In your search document, type starter template. Uh, hold, hold on. And so, then you need to click on the copy button, the copy button. Starter template. Uh, I put page. It's okay, doesn't matter. Just put starter and then click on template. the copy button. Copy, control. No, 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 no. The copy button is on this page, on the page, on the right hand side, right here. Look at my oh, screen. Yes, 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 yes. Just copy that. That's it. Go back to your sublime and then press control V. Okay. Now, once you have done that, now, there's another thing you need to pay attention to. Look at the title here, index HTML, the file name. Can you see there's a white dot or a green dot, whatever? Now, when you see a dot, it means the file is not saved yet. So you need to save it. Once you save, it will become an X. So please press Control S for you to save it. Control S. Can you see it changed? When I press Control S, it will change to X. So every time you put, do something, you must save it. If not, it won't read. Okay, save it. So paste it and save it. So everybody's okay. So this is the very basic. All right, very basic. Brother, you don't save this in the file. Huh? No, no, you just because press I, here itself. But I Control lost S. my... Control I, S. I don't know why I lost my... Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, how do I go back to... In fact, I had the icon just now. The icon is also gone. Never mind, just undo it, undo it. Okay. Uh, how do I go? Uh, you hold on. Okay, doesn't matter. All right. I'm just going to go on first and then I'll come I'll, I'll come back to Sister Indra in a short while. Okay. Thank ah. you. Mm -hmm. So now you have this thing. Now what I want you to do is take a look. This is the head. Can you see the head here? Up to here until number 12. These numbers doesn't matter, it can be any number. But in my screen, it is number 12. So that's the head. What is the head? So 
So I'm going to give some space to the head and the body. Now you can give as many space. I just give two space. Doesn't matter. Space doesn't mean anything. There's no meaning to it. So this is the head, and below is the body. See the body. Okay. Now what is the head? The head is what Google or the search engine will read. So it will read all this information which we will fill up later on. These are all the required information which Google will use to locate your file. Now at number 11 in my file, you watch mine first, can you see the title is written as Hello World. All right now we don't want Hello World, let's put as Brahma Kumari's Lesson 1. Okay, Let's put as Brahma Kumari's Lesson 1. That's my title. You see that? Okay. So this is the title which Google will read. So anytime people type Brahma Kumari's Lesson 1, Google will pick up your web page. So Google will read this and then show it to the user. So that's why the title is quite important. Right title, you need the right title. Okay. Now, sometimes we might want to put Brahma Kumari's meditation. So that Google, anybody who type meditation, Google will also show them our page. It's one way of doing it. Then you have the body. Can you see the body? All right. So I'm going to give some space here. Can you see on 18, number 18 is optional JavaScript. I don't want all those because all those are instruction. I'm just going to create some gap here. So I'm going to type gap, 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 enter, 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 and create some gap. See? Uh, you can give some gap up to 29 or 30. doesn't matter. Oh, sorry again. So after Hello World at 16, 17, huh? I'm just going to push everything down a bit, give some space. Now, this is the instruction again for Google to do something. Not Google, but something, some other instruction. Okay, so whatever you write must be inside the body. Don't go outside the body. So everything must be inside here. Okay, so let's wait for a while. Is everybody okay? I'm going to give you one minute. All right, just give some space here. I didn't do anything. I just gave some space here. If you want me to undo, can. Brother, I don't know whether you can help me now. Uh, I, am, I am in the untitled sublime text unregistered black page. Okay. Uh, you said I have to go and uh, go to the file, isn't it? You, no, 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 you don't have to go to. You mean you haven't saved any file, is it? No, because when I saved only one line of text came. Yours, you see the whole page is there. So you asked me to undo. I cannot find the undo button. Now I'm control on the Z. page. I, control I, Z. I control Z. Okay. Uh, okay. Never mind. Uh, I have already deleted it. I'm back again to this page. Sublime okay. text unregistered. The black page. Now okay. where do I go next? Uh? Okay. File save as. File save as. Save yes. as. And then save it in your folder just now as index.html. HTML and save it, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, would you like to save in document folder instead? Eh? Sister, you have to save it in the proper way. Okay, save it in your folder. Right. It says document folder. I let me check whether it's gone there. Oh, just uh. Okay, Sister Indra, okay, you. Uh, Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You sorry, probably sorry. have to watch it later again. Okay, maybe I'll help you later. Oh. All right, let me just move on a bit. Okay. So now what I want you to do is remove this hello world and type Om Shanti. All right, type Om Shanti. And control S, save it please. You must save it. If you don't save, then you cannot. Okay. Now. 
What I want you to observe here is every time you write a quote, please look at number 16. Watch this basic information. Every time you write a quote, this is called H1. H1 means header, header one. Big size header. This is called opening tag. Can you see? There's two tags like this. What's the opening tag? It's like this. Like this, H1. Can you see? Uh, I've just typed like this. So this is called opening tag. So all codes must be written in opening tag, and then you must close it. If you don't close it, then it won't read. It doesn't know where to stop. So this is opening tag. Open means two arrows like this, two bracket arrows, closing two bracket arrows. Okay, good. So now what I want you to do is try one more. Type H2. H2 means smaller size, header. And then press tab, press tab, T-A-B, tab twice, one, ah, once. Can you see? Automatically it comes. Again, I will do it for you again. All right? Press H2 and tab. Can you see? It's automatically doing it for you. That's why we are using subline. It, it's, there, there are also others, but subline can be just a beginner's. Then please type again Om Shanti. Okay. Good. Let's do one more after that. Type H3. And tab again. Tab. Type Om Shanti again. You can do until H6. Please try for me until H6. H4. Tab. Again type Om Shanti. The tab doesn't seem to be working for me. I'm doing it. Okay. The, okay. Does, does the tab work for you? Tap twice, maybe. Okay. H5, tap. If it doesn't work, then probably you have to copy the okay. first one and then just change into two and two and three and three. But it should work. Okay. H5, I'm going to do slowly. Om okay. Shanti. Okay. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to write whatever you want. H6 then, tab again, Om Shanti. Okay, good. Save it, please. Don't forget to save. Control S, must save it. Okay, so now I've written something on my page. I've written Om Shanti six times in six different headers. All right, so I want to know whether this is going to appear in the website. Is it, will it appear in the internet page? Will it appear? Ah, so we need to check, right? So let's try doing that. Okay, so how to check, how to check. Please watch, please watch the, what I'm doing first. I just minimize this or go back to my main screen. Okay, minimize it. Let's minimize this. I'm going back to my folder. Can you see my folder? So if you see my folder here, I have got an index. I'm using Chrome. If you are using uh, Microsoft Edge, the color will be different. All right. So it's always best to use Chrome because Chrome is the best reader for web pages. Okay. Anyway, so I have got like this. So if you double click on this, please watch me first. If you double click on this, I'm going to double click. Can you see I have written something on the web page? Now you try and see. You try again. Again, I'm going to show it to you again, those who didn't catch it. So I have written something on my subline. Can you see? And then I want to see this whether it's on the web page. So I just minimize this. Go back to my website lesson folder. Don't close this folder. Keep it somewhere. And then double click on your index. Okay, double click. And then you have, you'll see all this is written. You see that? Ah, so that's how we write our stuff. Okay, so now that you know how to write, 
Let's move on a bit. Anyone got problem seeing this or writing this? Okay. So leave it as it is. Just minimize it. Let's go back to our subline. So this is how we write on the page. Can you see that? Okay. Hopefully, okay. Everybody's okay. You want me to give you a minute? I'll wait first. Now you can ask some questions if some of you are stuck. Try typing something else. Also, you can type one more. If you don't want to use header, then you can use P. Try this. P is called paragraph. Can you see? Double click. It becomes P. So click on your tab. Type P again. Type P and tab. Ah, so that's called a paragraph. So in your paragraph now, you can type something. Type anything you want. What is today's Murli's essence? Essence of today's Murli. Just type something. All right. So you can just type, I am a peaceful soul. Shiv Baba, father of all, father of all souls, is my teacher and Satguru. Okay, let's see how it comes up. So save it first. Don't forget to save. All right, save it first. All right, save and then... Go back to your folder, double click on it. There, here you have written something. So now we know how to write, but then we have to make it beautiful, put it in the right place, and so on. Okay, I'm going to ask you again. All right. Okay. Actually, there's another way. Let's try one more time. Then, what is P? P is called paragraph. But let's say you want to type something. There's another way to type also. It's called span. S-P-A-N. And then tab. You can also, span means smaller. Smaller than paragraph. So I can say, today is Saturday. Uh, okay, today is Saturday. Finished. So save it. Now, you don't have to go back to your, see, let's say I, I don't go back to my folder. I come back here. So if you click this, if you click this, can you see? If you refresh the page, it will automatically come. So you can either click your index or go back to the open Google uh, page, internet page, and just refresh. You'll have everything here. You okay? All right, I'm going to give you time. All right, anybody has got a problem so far? Om um, Shanti, brother, I do have a problem because I have AVG set up, which is uh, pre preventing me from going to my file also. I think you have to help me later. I'll just watch. Okay, all right. AVG, AVG shouldn't stop, but okay, let's see Something why. Something is stopping me. It cannot go to my... I can't even... When I want to save it, I can't even find my file when the file is already on the desktop. Okay, something is not right. Okay, never mind. So you have to watch it first, all right? Okay. Yes, brother. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Now, next part. Let's say I want to make a box. A box. Everything we do in the internet, the web page will be in box shape. Okay? In box shape. So what I want to do is, okay, so now, so, so far you know how to type something. See? Either H1, H, H means big, P is this, okay, span can also be used. All right, let's try something else. Mm. Let's say I put I, I, I means italics, it, italics, italics, I, stuck. okay, can you see? I and tap twice and say mama and baba. You see that? I. I means you want it in italics. 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 So then save it. Save it. And then let's see. Refresh. There, can you see? It's in italics. Okay. So you are learning 
how to type and italics. Okay. Now, I hope you're okay. Try and see italics. Can write any problems? Let me know. Go slow, italics. So this is how we can understand a few commands. I means italics. Slanted, slanting. Okay. Okay, so far, anyone got problem? Let me know. Let's say now I want to make Shiv Baba. Yeah, can you see Shiv Baba? I want to make Shiv Baba into bold letters. Bold, bold. All right, let's try to make bold. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just place my mouse at Shiv Baba, yeah, at the S, and, and type B. Let's try B. No. The one, no, Italy, uh, sorry, I want it to be bold, right? So I type strong, strong and tap. Can you see strong? Tap. So now once you have typed strong, take Shiv Baba and just drag it inside in between the two strong, like this. Okay, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to undo and do again. What I'm saying, I want to make Shiv Baba into bold. You see that? So, then what I do, I type strong. And then tab. So, I've got opening tag strong, closing tag strong. Closing tag will have a, a slash. This is a slash. So, take Shiv Baba. Put it inside the strong. Yes, save it, please. Must save, must save, don't forget. And then please check your page once you have done. Is Shiv Baba in bold? Anybody has successfully done it? Let me know. Okay, everybody's okay. Very good, thank you. Ah, the very basics, we are learning very basics. But once you have understand this, then we will move into nicer ones, okay? So let me refresh my page. Ah, can you see nice? Shiv Baba's bold. Okay, good. So hopefully all right. Okay, I'm giving you a few minutes for you to make sure you're clear. And, okay, good. Now let's do something else. Okay. Everybody's okay, right? Okay, so good. Now, let's say, let's say now, see, watch this. Let's say I write all these things, but I don't want to show. I want to hide it first, hide it. What I do, I highlight all this. Okay. And then I press Control, Control, the question mark. Remember the question mark button? Press control and question mark. Press, try pressing, control and question mark. This automatically hides it. Press again, control, question mark. It opens again. So try it. Let's close it and go and see your web page, how it looks like. Control, question mark. So now what it means is I've blocked everything. It cannot be read by my search engine. It cannot be read by the Google. So let's go and check. If you refresh. So I didn't save. You must save it. Ah, if you don't save, it won't work. Can you, see? you must save whatever you do. Save first. Then refresh. Disappear. So if you go back to your sublime. Highlight again and press control question mark. Okay, save it again, save. Test and see. I'm just asking you to test, get used to it. Refresh, you'll get it back. You see that? Ah, okay, good. So I hope you're okay. Good. Everybody's okay, right? Next, what I want to do is on top of uh, H1, 
Can you see H1? I want to create about some space. Let's give one, two, three spaces. Or you can create more. It doesn't matter. Okay? So just create some space. I want to create a box, a header for Brahma Kumaris. I want to create a header for Brahma Kumaris. Okay? So, so a header means yeah, I want to make a box. Because why? You see here, what I want to do, I want to make a box here, a box. Uh, a box. So wait, let me just show you something I have. Okay, give me a minute, yeah? So let me show you what I've done. You see, I've done something here. I'm going to click. Can you see this is Sister Shivani's temporary website? Can you see the blue color box? I want to create this box. And then inside that box, I want to put my logo. I want to put Brahma Kumari's foundation. This is Malaysia is called foundation. Everybody, you, you all know, everybody knows that. So we want to call it Brahma Kumari's foundation. And then we want to put this thing. What is this called? This is called the navigation bar or nav bar. Nav bar. And then we want to put image like this. So the first thing I want to show you now is how to create this blue box. Okay? Blue box. So let's close this first. Let's go back to my subline. Now how to create a box. A box is called a container. Container. We want to use the word container. So please watch first. See what I do. A box is called a division, diff. Can you see the word diff? I'm typing diff. When you type diff and press tab, can you see? So this is the opening tab, closing tab. Opening box, closing box. Can you see that? Opening box. This is my box. A division means box. But you don't have to type all this. Let's make our life easy. Let's go to Bootstrap. Let's go to Bootstrap. You, you, okay, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, go to your Bootstrap. In the search area, please type box. Box means what? Don't type box. Type container. Uh, containers. Containers means box. Can you do that? I'm going to wait for you. Go to your bootstrap. Type container. And then you should come to this page. So there are many containers. Can you see? Uh, containers. This is called a default container. Means it's just a container. There are many types of containers. But we're going to come to that slowly. Right? And then there is fluid container. Fluid means 100% from left to right. So let's take a 100% fluid container. It's on the left-hand side. Copy. Can you see copy? Copy that. Let's copy fluid container. All right. I'm going to copy that and paste it in my body here in my subline. I'm going to wait for you. Can you please go to your bootstrap, copy your fluid container, copy it, right, go back, paste it here, paste it, you might see it like this, you can uh, tap, tap this thing, if you tap it will go, if you backspace you can move it. The three dots, I don't want. That's where I'm going to write something. Okay. So inside this container, can you see? So this is your div, your div. You always write this between the two divs. You can write here or you can write in the middle. Doesn't matter. You can even write like this. You see? So normally it should be like this. There's a div here and a closing div. Can you see? Normally we can enter and create some space. So let's type here Brahma Kumaris. World Spiritual University of Malaysia, or you can put whatever. If you're from somewhere else, whatever. Brahma Kumaris, Malaysia. 
Save it, please. Save it. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, go back to your page. And refresh. Oh, that's very small. That's very small. I type Brahma Kumaris Malaysia, but it's very small. What do you think I should do to make it big? I can use H1. H1 is a header. Can you see? So what I do is, I can remove this. Let's retype, okay? I'm going to type H1, tap. Then I type Brahma Kumaris. All right, you can put something, Brahma Kumaris, Malaysia. Save. And then now check. Okay, so you just put H1. H2 also can, but H2 is smaller. H1 is bigger header. You can also control the font size. I'll teach you how. Okay. So let's go back. Refresh. Ah, looks bigger. You see, it looks bigger. So now I've got Brahma Kumaris Malaysia here. I hope all of you got this. Okay, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. And I think I want to hide all this Om Shanti thing. Just hide it first. We don't want. Just hide. How to hide? Control question mark. That's it. Uh, hide it. All right. So just keep it down somewhere. Save it. Don't forget to save. Every time must save. You okay? All right. Very good. So let's recheck how it looks like. Okay. I've got Brahma Kumaris Malaysia. You see that? Okay. Great. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, everybody's okay. So I've created Brahma Kumaris Malaysia now. And let's say, let's say I want to make it color background. All right. But before that, let's do something else. Let's put our navigation bar. What's a navigation bar there? Home, about Brahma Kumaris, whatever, whatever. Oh. This let's put our navigation bar, all right. So here we don't have a navigation bar. So everybody's okay. Anybody wants to interrupt? Ask me some question before we put navigation bar. Okay, good. Let's start. Can you hear me? I can't hear you very clearly. Somebody is trying to say something. Okay, maybe put in the chat. I'll read the chat. How did I hide it? Sister Niti is asking. Uh, Sister Niti is asking, how do you hide it? Press control question mark. Correct. Uh, okay, now I'm going to give a color to it. Color to this box. Color to this box. The box is called container. All right. Color is called, the box is called container. This is the text. So what we do is, if you want to give color to something, then you have to style it. We call it styling, style. But before I start giving color and size and so on, if you notice here, can you see the word class? Class means a name. So in this box, this box is called container fluid. So the class means name. The name of this box is called container fluid. Get it? So after the name, after the name, after the two commas, inverted commas. So that's how we write inverted commas, all right? Now, if the inverted comma is missing, let's say I accidentally delete. All right, it won't work. It will become difficult. All right, I ah, see. See, let's say I delete. See what, what happens. 
All this is red, right? Red, white, red, white. White means text. Yellow means code or the name of the class. So let's say I accidentally delete this, this inverted comma. See the color change. Everything changes. It says there's error. You have accidentally done a mistake. So you just undo back and try to find your mistake. All right, so after the inverted commas, please watch, I'm going to type S, T, Y. By the time I type, it's already suggesting. You can just choose that, press enter, style. You see, again, again, watch. After the inverted commas, please put your mouse there and type style, S, T, Y, L, E, and press enter. Style means what? Style means the place where you are going to write color for the box, size for the text. So that's called style. Can you please do that for me, style? Okay. You can write whatever you like inside. Getting it? Okay. So... However, this is the normal method. However, because we are using Bootstrap, Bootstrap already has built-in functions about color and so on. Okay? All right? So we can we have two ways, but I'm going to use style today now. Later on, I'll teach you more. So now, right now, what do you do? Inside these inverted commas, Let's put background, color, background. I just type background, and then can you see it comes out? Background, filter, background, clip. Ah, click on background, color. Okay. Okay. So I put what color you want? Beige. Okay, green, whatever, whatever. Ah, it will suggest to you. The moment you type one letter, it's going to suggest to you so many colors. I'm just going to choose beige, beige color. Ah, okay. You see that? Okay. All right. Save it, please. Can you please try? Save it and go to your web page and see it. Anybody? I'll show it to you again. All right. Those are not so sure. I'm going to undo this thing. So after my container fluid, there's two inverted commas, right? Okay. Anybody is successful? Uh, some of you are getting it. It's okay. Some of us are slow, but it's okay. Slowly you'll get it. So type style and then enter or tab as you can. STY tab should get it. And then type background color. Choose the background color. And then you can choose whatever color. Beige. Save it. And then must save. Don't forget to save. And then please check. All right. Let me hide this thing. The color is like this. But let's, uh, my, my screen is like this. Please look at my screen. You will have a color beige behind. Looks nice to me. It's okay. So, but let's say, let's say you don't like, it's too thin. The box is too small and thin because the box right now is following the text. But let's say you want to make the box bigger because this box right now is following the text. If the text is smaller, then the color box, the box will be smaller. So right now, I want to make this box bigger. So let's go back to my subline. Now look at my style again, how it's written. After you type your style, can you see there's two dots here? Must be very important. And then after you type the color, you must close it. How to close? Semicolon. This is called colon. This is called semicolon. Now, after the semicolon, careful, must be inside, inside the comma on top. Eh? I'm going to type height. Height of the box. Uh, how much do you want? Let's call it 100 pixel, PX. 100 pixel. And make sure you have a semicolon at the end. Can you please type height 
100 pixel. You can try 200 pixel, later change 150. You try and see, but just try, but make sure you save it. Please try height. 100 pixel. Right? Please try and see. Anybody successfully done it? Yeah, it's quite big. Uh, my box is now bigger. At least some of you can try put 200 pixels, some of you 80 pixels, 150 pixels. Just get used to it. I'm going to give you a minute for you to try it out. Hide this okay. Good. So far, okay, right? Good, very good. Anybody successfully done it? Well done. I think good. Ah, good. Sister, who's that? Sister Nalini, Uma, Wasumadi, all done. Dimple, well done, well done. Slowly, lah, no rush, no rush. Something new. But once you get the basics, then you'll be fast ready. So today is just basic stuff. Now let's do something else, all right? I want to change the text color. Because the text is black in color. So if I want to change the text, I cannot give instruction to the box. I must give instruction to the text, not to the box. Remember, let's go back. You see, here we have the box. That's instruction to the box. Style is instruction to the box. And the text is here. So if you want to change this color, then you have to give style to this text. So what do you do? Please watch. After the H1, inside the H1 arrow brackets, give some space, type style. Can you do that to me? And please put color. Just put color. Okay. Again, again, I'm going to show it to you again. Inside the H1 arrow bracket, inside, that must be inside, not outside. Give some space, type style, enter or tap, and then type color. Just put color. Color means, ah, okay. Can you see color? Color. Color. Is there a color there? Color. Uh, it's not coming out for me. So make sure you put the semicolon and colon together. Color, I'm just going to put red. Just put red first and then close it with a semicolon. Please take note how you do it. Can you see? Color, colon, colon, and then red, semicolon. Uh, okay, save it, please. Check. Does it change color? Can you check, check, check. Check and see. All right? Ah, you got red. Yeah, some of you are successful. Never mind. Take it easy. Take it easy. Good. Ah, uh, you can now, you now know how to change color. Can you see that? Ah, uh, you have now known how to change color. But let's say I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the size. I want it bigger. I want it bigger. So what do you do? So I want to make the size of the font, the size of the text bigger. H1 is big, but I want it even bigger. All right? So I'm going to say, remember, you must type inside. Don't type outside the, 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 the comma on top, right? Apostrophe, comma on top. Okay. Now type font size. Font, font size. Can you see font size here? Font size. Just type font size. Click on it. And let's say how much you want to put. You want to put 50 pixel. 50 is quite big. H1 is about 30 pixel. You can put 40 pixel or 45 pixel. I'm going to type 40 pixel. 40 pixel. Okay, save. So font size must have colon. 40 pixel. And then semicolon, 
Make sure it's inside the big comma, the, the closing comma on top. Please check whether are you successfully making it large. Oh, it's not. Oh, maybe H1 and 40. Make it 50, please. See what happens. 40 doesn't work. Make it 50. Because H1 is, I think, is 40. Ah, mine grown big. Anybody is successfully growing big? Color change. Ah, size grow big or not? Okay. So now you know how to change the sizes. Ah, good. Okay, excellent. Slowly, lah. no rush, no rush. I, I'm sure by third lesson, you'll be really expert. Now, next, I don't like this font. This font is, uh, I don't know what font is this. Maybe it's Calibri. I think it's Calibri. I want to change it to something else. What font do you like? Um, okay. So I want to again type something here yeah, and type font family. Can you see font? Type font and choose. Please, are you seeing my screen? Okay, please make sure. All right. Please come back to my screen. Now here. You space font family. Where is that? Font family. Ah. Now what family, what, what is the font you like? Now wait. Your laptop might have very, um, okay, let, let's put it, I'm going to show you. I'm going to type quicksand. Please type quicksand for me. Save it. Save it. Quicksand. Okay. Now, wait first. After you type, you watch mine first. Then you tell me whether it is the same. Okay. Font family, my font name is called Quicksand. So I'm going to go back here. All right, I'm going to click refresh. Please watch my screen. Watch my screen. I've got Brahma Kumaris Malaysia. This is my font. Now, please tell me, are you getting the same font? Are you getting the same font as mine? No, please type Quicksand. Type Quicksand. You please do quicksand. I want you to see, I want to show you something. Quicksand. All right, put quicksand. Is your phone the same like mine? It's no, right? Ah, uh, you can't. Because why? Because your laptop doesn't have that font. Now take note, that means there are millions of people who are going to watch your web page are going to come and see our web page here. And if they don't have the font, they can't see what you typed. So therefore, if you are going to put something totally different, very unique font, uh, then you have to inform the Google here. Let's do that, okay? Let's try now, okay? I'm going to show it to you now. Are you ready? Now, font family, please type quick send for all. For everybody follow me, please. Oh, all right? Everybody follow me. Or let's, let's put something completely different. I am going to put architect. I'm sure you don't have this. Architect daughter. Please type architect daughter and save it. I want to show you something here, how you use different forms. All right, are you following me, architect, doctor? Everybody, please type and please check. Are you able to see it in your page? I'm going to click mine. Please watch, see what happens. Did I save it? No. Architect, doctor. Doesn't seem to work. Why is not working? So it's not working, can you see? Architect daughter is just not working. But there is such a phone. So I want to use architect daughter. So what, what do I do? I go back. I go, watch, huh? please, you need to do this for me. Can you see this one now became something else? It's not architect daughter. Architect daughter doesn't look like this. Please watch first, then you do. Now, open your new Google page and type Google font, Google forms, type Google forms. 
Now, please type open together. I'm waiting for you. Please type Google Fonts. And then click on Google Fonts. Click on Google Fonts. Now, Google has all these thousands and thousands of fonts. Okay, so you can actually use any of this. So how to use a font which I don't have? So go up here to search. Can you see? Please watch my screen first. Search. Type architects. Daughter. There's architect. Architect. Ah, can you see? Architect's daughter. So this is the font I want. Can you please type architect's daughter and see whether this comes out? I'm going to wait for you. Let's wait. I'm going to wait. And I purposely choose this. So the spelling has to be called, oh, never mind, architect's daughter, you got this right? Okay, now once you have opened this, can, right? Can, everybody successful? Yeah, it's coming, okay, good. Now, then what do you do? You click on this. Uh, that's architect daughter, can you see that? Architect daughter. And then it says, do you want to download the family? No, don't download, you can download because that will go into your PC. We are not interested in the PC now. We are interested for the web page for the entire world. So what do you do? Don't download first. Download, you can download later. I want this font. So can you see on top here, there's like three squares with a plus here, plus. Uh, you need to click that. Three small square with a plus. Click that. Oh, I don't have. Let me just check. Oh, that's downloading. Oh, sorry, I think you need to download. Something is not right. Wait. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. So now Architects Daughter, it's asking me, if you scroll down, please watch my screen. It's asking you, which one do you want? What kind of font do you want? So I'm going to just say, okay, I want to select this select. Uh, you might need to select. Okay, select means plus, click the plus button. Go down some more. Do you see anything else? Don't have. There's only one font here. Never mind. Let's select this. So once you select this thing, click on the plus sign. Can you do that? I'm going to wait for you. Once you click on that plus sign, Then click on the square at the bottom together with the plus sign. Click. Ah, you will see it telling you this. Okay, if you click again, you click here. If you click on the three squares with a plus button, it's going to show you all this. Can you see that? Okay, so these are all your information. If you scroll it down, please watch this. If you scroll it down, you will see the copy button. Can you see copy button? Uh, please copy it. I'm going to wait for you to copy. Can you please copy? If you got a problem, please tell me. I'm going to show you to you again. So once you had architect's daughter, scroll down, select, select this, whichever you want. So I'm going to click plus, select it. Normally, there will be a lot. Okay, a lot, but for this, I think they only have regular 400, doesn't matter. Okay, so once you've selected, click the three square with the plus button at the top. Architect's daughter. Scroll down a bit, you'll see this copy button here. Copy, click, copy. Okay, everybody has copied? All right, once you've copied, go back to your subline text. I'm going to wait for you. Okay, everybody's watching. Please watch, please. Please watch. Okay. So now at number eight and number nine is an information given by the starter template. Don't touch that. Create some space below. 
So maybe at number 10 or 11 or 12, can you please paste the Google font plus press control V? Paste it here. Uh, so what I've just done, that, that uh, to arrange it nicely. See, I've pasted my Google font information in the head. Why? So that when Google looks for it and somebody doesn't have this font, Google will tell them, okay, I can give you this font. So that's how it works. Okay, can you please paste it? Has anybody done it? And after pasting it, make sure you go and type the right name back at the at the H1. Okay, I'm going to wait for you and I'm going to do it together. It's architect's daughter. There's an S behind. Okay, later. Just now I didn't type the S. Okay, has anybody successfully pasted it? Okay, good. Copy link. Okay, how to copy the font. There's a copy button there. I'm going to show it to you again. Can you see if you scroll down this, this architect's daughter? Can you see? You scroll down. Uh, there is there. This is your copy button. Copy. Okay, font changed. Good. Now. So now go back to your go back to your subline. Check. If you're looking at my screen, font family architects daughter must have an S. Uh, please put an S here. Uh, so now I've got make sure you save it. And then let's check where is our let's close this Google font. Okay. Refresh. I changed. I don't like this one, but I'm just showing you how it works. Can you see that? Uh, so by doing this, by doing this, you can actually have so many types of font. There's no limit to it. Okay, so you've got a header here. You've got this thing here. Okay, anybody is successfully you're okay? I hope you're all right. Can okay, can yeah. Anybody is finding it difficult? Done, done, done. It's working for some of you. Good, very good. Okay, doesn't matter. But you understand what's happening, all right? I'll just give you one minute. No, in the same way, can you please try for me one more thing? Just make sure you're okay. I want to change this to quicksand. I don't architect. I don't architect. Quicksand, please go and get for me quicksand, paste it and check whether it works. Quicksand, please. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Can you please try it? Quicksand. All right, let's go and get quicksand. Go to your Google font. Go to your Google font. Okay. And click. And look for quicksand. Okay, so I'm going to get quicksand, quicksand. I already have quicksand with me. So, okay, can you see quicksand is here? Click on it. Click on quicksand, scroll down. Now, there are many quicksand. I suggest you just copy everything. All right, copy, copy, choose everything you like. Okay, so that you can actually later do something. So you've got many quicksands. Okay, and go down a bit. You copy this is the copy and you paste it all right so let's go back to our subline after you copy go to your subline and where do you paste i'm going to paste it somewhere at 15 
All right. I'm going to paste it at 15 or 16 or somewhere there. All right. 15 or 16. Okay. 15 or 16 paste. Okay. So this is sublime text. I've pasted quicksand. Can you see quicksand? Okay. So I have both here. Architects, daughter, and quicksand together. All right. Okay. Good. All right. So let's save it. Uh, in fact, the new one which we pasted has also architects daughter. So if you want, you can actually delete the top part, but never mind. Leave it for learning purpose. So let's save it. And please check whether your quicksand now works. Oh, this is my quicksand. Okay, looks different. Okay, I hope you're all right. Good. And everybody's okay. Or anyone has got a problem with uh, not working? Okay, good. Excellent. Good. Now, next, let's do more important stuff. Okay. So now you've got your name here. Now, please watch this carefully. I'm going to tell you. Let's say I want to bring this Malaysia Brahma Kumaris to the center of the box. Center of the box. Right now, it is on the left. So I'm going to go back to my subline and tell my H1, please make the Brahma Kumaris Malaysia to the center. So how do I do that? So again, give instructions. Uh, click just before here, please. Click before here. Click here. And type text. There it came up. Alignment. Uh, text align. Can you see? Click on that. Text align. Text align. Click on the text align. And say text align. You want it center, right? Type center. Please use American spelling, not British spelling. How you spell center? C-E-N-T-E-R. Not T-R-E. T-E-R. Uh, so it came up. Center. Save it. Please check whether it works for you. Is it working so far? All right. Text align center. If it works for you, it's good. Now I want you to then remove the center, put text align right, right hand side. So put right, see whether it goes to the right. And then left goes to the left. All right. Test and see, test and see. Ah, mine is now moving to the center. The rest of you are quite expert. Please try moving to the right, to the left. Okay. So now you have learned how to align the text. Okay. Good. Anybody successfully has made it go left and right? Perfect. I think some of you are doing it well. Thank you. It's okay. Some of you are a bit slow, but it's okay. All right. It's normal. Good. So you should go to the middle. But what else you feel is not so nice? Okay. So I don't like the color. All right. If you want to change the color, please change it. Okay. All right. Doesn't look so nice. I think black is nicer. Or gray is nicer. So I want to change back the color. Color is red, right? I'm going to change it to black. Actually, black is automatic, so you don't have to type. But it's... So I'm going to put black. Okay, black. Okay, so this is my page. Everybody's okay? So now please watch what I'm going to tell you now next. Now next, look at this box, the orange, the yellow box, the beige color box. And look at my file here. This is the Google's uh, typing area, right? Now, if you want to give a gap between the box and the Google's uh, frame here, between, uh, listen carefully to what I'm saying, between the box and the frame, you must use the word margin, margin. Okay. 
if you want to give space between the text the text and the box and the box the the, the beige color box text and box that's called padding padding p a d d i n g again if you want to give space between the box the box and the google's frame here that's called margin but if you want to give a space between the text and the box inside the box inside the box spacing is called padding outside the box is called margin so i'm going to do margin now watch so i want to do box go to the box and type margin margin top can you see margin top is there a margin top here yes let's say you give 10 pixel or 20 pixel or whatever save it please see what happens you know what's margin top i'm going to give a gap between the box and the google's uh, the typing area so let's check can you see what happened ah okay so if you don't want, you remove it. But right now, let's leave it because this is a learning process. Every, anybody has successfully got the thing can. Margin works good. Now, let's do inside the box. Give some space. Give some space inside the box for the text and the page box. So I'm going to go back here. But right, right now, I want space between the text, correct, text. So go to the text here. Okay, make sure you type at the right place, the text. Put padding top. Don't do in the box. We are doing for the text. Padding top. Ah, can you do for the box? You can try. Okay, I'm going to say 10 pixels. Say padding top. See whether it works. If it doesn't work, then just put it in the box. But it should work. Padding top. Can you see? Padding top. Padding means space inside the box. Okay. See whether it works. Ah, it worked. Okay. Increase to 20, 20 pixels or 15 pixels. Try increasing it to 20 pixels. See what happens. I'm using padding top 20 pixels. Is there a difference? Save it, please. Don't forget to save. Ah, now it looks more centered. Can you see that? Ah, padding top. So if you want padding bottom, you put padding bottom, padding left, padding right. So now I've created a nice Ramakumaris Malaysia centralized. Okay, color we can choose later. You got it? Good. Okay. Anybody is successfully getting it right? Everybody is okay, right? Good. So far, so good. I think some of you are doing it very well. All right. Good. Now, let's do our, let's do our navigation bar. What's a navigation bar? So, now, everybody is okay, right? So, so far, I've done this, H1. Now, what I want to do is, this is my box, right? What's my box called? Container fluid. After the text, text is called what? H1. Give some space. Because this is where I want to type my nav bar, my navigation bar. Here, somewhere here. I'm going to paste it at 30, 31, 32, somewhere there. You're getting it? Okay, so let's go back to my bootstrap. In the search area, go to your bootstrap. In your search area, type navbar. Can you please do that now? Search area, navbar. And press enter, please. Go to your bootstrap, put navbar, and then press enter. Ah, so I get the nav bar page. 
Okay. Nevba. So Nevba, I'm going to scroll down. Please watch my screen. Please watch my screen. If you had Nevba, is good, but let's watch first. So if you scroll down, there's thousands of things here. Let's learn one by one. Some nerve bar looks like this. Can you see? But we don't want that for now. So if I scroll down, there's so many types of nerve bar. Let's do something simple. Okay. There's nerve bar here, home features disabled. I don't want to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. What I want is a drop link. What's a drop link? When you click, something comes down. So please move to this part of the page. I'm going to wait. Can you please move to this part of the page and copy it, copy it. I'm going to wait for you. Please locate this thing. Okay, are you all right? So go to this nav bar thing, scroll, scroll down until you come to this drop link, drop link. Can you see drop link means here? Uh, okay. So drop link. Copy it, please. Please copy it. Copy. 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 Okay. Once you've copied, please go back to your... Subline. And tap here, okay. Everybody's copied. Good, please watch mine, please watch mine. So I'm going to paste, but the quotes are very long. All right, the quotes are very long, so it's going to like move a lot. So I'm just going to press, press Control V, please watch. So it's all copied here, all the nav bar. Can you please do that for me? So where did I paste it? I pasted it on 31. Can you see that? 31. All right, can you just press all this is the code, all right? So if we start writing this, it's very difficult, all right? Okay, so let's save it. Save and then please go and see your good. There you've got it. Mine looks like this. Please see whether yours is the same. Anybody's got the same like mine? Please tell me yes, you've got the same. All right. Ah, okay, good. Good, great. Excellent. All right, good. So we have got a nav bar here, home, features, pricing, drop link, and so. Okay, good. So that's it. So once you have done this, can you see your header is done? The most difficult part here, you have done it. So now you can put uh, all these things. We will have to put things inside and then we can start seeing what is it. Okay. Now, okay. Now the color of this, this is bootstraps color, gray color. Beige is our color. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Please watch. Okay. So the navigation bar starts from here. This is the navigation, the name, name of it. Don't worry about all this. If you want to arrange it, you can just highlight and tap a little bit. It will move, but no need for now. Okay, hang on. Okay. Now, I want you to watch this. Bootstrap has got its own background colors. Can you see BG? BG means background. But just now we put our own background color. Uh, two ways of writing. So can you see Bootstrap is giving its own color, which says the color I'm one is BG light. Light means gray. 
So let's say I want to change this to some other color. I don't want light color. I want some darker color. How? So let's go back to Bootstrap. Watch first. So in your search button, in your search button, all right, in your search button, just type background BG. Background, background color. Okay, background, background color. Just type enter in your search. Uh, so it gives you a standard built-in color. Can you see background color? Please type. I'm going to wait. Type in your bootstrap background color or background. Okay. So bootstrap is giving you some colors like that. Just now we saw what? We saw BG light. Can you see? BG light means this color. If you want something else, then you have to choose. Let's say I choose warning, BG dash warning. So I just, I want to retype. I don't want light, but I want warning. I want warning. You can put danger or success or secondary up to you. All right, but I, let's say I only choose warning. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back to my bootstrap. And I'm going to say nav bar light, light, light. I don't want, I want warning color, warning. So I'm going to type W, warning. Save it. Please check what happens. You type, please. All right, remove the light, type warning. See what happens. And then check, save it, check what happens. It changed color. Can you see it became orange? So this is how we change bootstrap color. You okay? Anybody has successfully got a color? Yeah, very good. Uh, so there's two ways to change color. If you're changing bootstrap, then you must use bootstrap color. But let's say you don't want orange, then you just delete the BG warning and use this kind of pattern. Never mind, slowly we will learn. Okay. Now let's do one more stuff. One more stuff. Okay. All right. Done. Eh? Color changed. Fantastic. All right. Everybody has changed it. Now, if you see something here, Look at my orange color nav bar here, nav bar. Can you see there's a gap by the side? Side here got gap. On the right hand side also got gap. On the left hand side also got gap. That gap is called padding, padding. So there's a padding. I don't want padding here. I want full, 100%. Full. All right. So for bootstrap, because now it's bootstrap language. This yellow color is called bootstrap language. This blue color and style is called our own instructions. This is called bootstraps instruction, the yellow color. So we are going to follow bootstrap instruction. So you tell the nav bar, okay, nav bar, all right, I don't want any padding there. All right, so how? Just type space. Padding, short form is P, dash, I don't want anything, zero. Please type zero. Check whether anything happens. Uh, that means I don't want padding, zero padding. Check, please, anything happens. Good, what happened, what happened? Again, again. I will show you again. So if you do a padding zero here, you will find that your nav bar became thinner. Can you see why? Because the space has been reduced. Okay, did that happen for anybody? Ah, the space is reduced, correct. But now the side, the side is not for the nav bar. The side belongs to the box. Side belongs to the box. The side still got gap, you know. So I'm going to my subline now. There, this is the box. Can you see the box? The box is called a container. 
So tell the box now, container fluid box, I don't want padding. Are you watching my screen? Please watch my screen. You see, just now we give instruction to the nav bar. The nav bar, what's a nav bar? The nav bar is just this wording. This wording is called the nav bar. The box is not the nav bar. So now I'm going to tell my box, box, padding zero, please, P dash zero. Let's check what happens. Save it, please. You please tell me what's going to happen. Check. Oops, again, it's still for something else happened. Ah, uh, Patty. Uh, what happened? Even the side space is gone. All right? Doesn't look so nice. But never mind. I still have some space here, which means it's not for the box. It is for the box, but I made a mistake. What was my mistake? Do you know what's my mistake? Instead of using margin, because outside the box is called margin, inside the box is called padding. So what changed was this whole thing moved closer inside the box. Outside box never changed. So now let's go back to my subline. David, am I confusing you? Please let me know. Okay. All right. So now watch. So I'm going to tell my box, box, it's not padding. It's the margin. So sorry, it's not the padding. It's the margin. Margin is M. Dash zero. Please save it. Uh, because margin means what? Outside the box. Save it, please. Please check. There's my margin. Oops. Still doesn't work. I'm still having this box here. Space. That means something is totally wrong. Which means I'm typing in the wrong place. So, which means the space is not for the box. Okay, let's try on top. On top here, I'm going to say M0. All right, 31. Please check 31. 31 for nav bar, I'm going to say M0. M0. Save. All right, save. M0. Watch first, and then we'll do it again. Hopefully it works. It didn't work at all. So there's a padding zero, margin zero. The box also I put zero. It doesn't work. That means something else is controlling it. Uh, we need to figure out. All right? So this is how sometimes you'll be like, wow, this thing is not working. Why? So we need to figure out. Okay, wait. Sorry again. Let's go back. So what did I just do? Okay, let's remove padding M0. Watch first. I'm going to delete. I'm also going to delete all the M0, P0. I'm going to save it. Hang on, you don't delete. Let's go back and see what happened. So this is how it looks like. So when I put P0, this thing became thinner. When I put M0, nothing happened. I'm not sure what is controlling this. Uh, something else is controlling this. We'll figure out slowly. All right. So let's put P0 for time being. Save. I'm putting P0, which I've already done. P0 at 31. 31. P0. Okay. I'm going to click again. See what happens. Yes, it got thinner. Okay, let's leave it for time being. Okay, all right. So now, wait, sorry, stop. All right, is anybody totally confused about this thing? Don't get confused, forget it. We had to go backwards because it didn't work. Uh, because these quotes are done by bootstrap, so we have to figure out, but it's not difficult. Somewhere here, it's missing something. Okay, so I've done P0 now. Can you see that? Okay. The next thing what I want to do. So I've got my nav bar here, not properly done yet. I've got Brahma Kumaris here. I want to put a photo, a photo here. 
Uh, this is today's last lesson. I want to put a photo. Okay. So let's put some photo. And before we put the photo, we need to put a box here. You must put a box because everything must go into a box. So what I'm going to do is, let's scroll down. Can you see here? Uh, so this is my nav bar. So this is the end of my nav bar. This is the nav bar, is the end of it, okay? So under at 67 or 66, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a note. Please see how I do. Press control, question mark. You know this. And type the nav bar ends here. So that you know where it ends. Can you please do that for me? So when you are looking at quotes, you roughly know this is where it ends. How I type this? Control, question mark. Again, I'm going to do it. Control, question mark. You'll get this. And then you type nav bar and here. Okay. All right. Good. Let's put a box here. Let's create some space here. Send the Om Shanti down. Now I'm going to put a box here and I am going to put a photo inside here. Okay. All right. Hopefully, okay. Can right? Okay. Now let's go back to our bootstrap. Bootstrap. I'm going to go to bootstrap. And please type image. Type responsive image. Responsive image. Actually, you can just type image. But better to type responsive image. Responsive images or just type images also is fine. Just type images. Images is good enough. In your bootstrap, type images. I want to put a photo now. Okay, everybody's there on that page. I'm just going to give you a few seconds. All right. Okay, give you a few seconds. Hang on, yeah. Okay, I have just sent you a photo in your chat. All right, I've just sent a chat, a photo in your chat. Can you just open your chat and can you see whether the photo is there, the image is there? Can you just download that? Okay, I'm going to show you. So in your chat, it, is it a chat there? Can you see a chat? Please download that and please save it. I'm going to download. Please watch what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to watch. I'm in my chat now, if you're not sure. Everybody, no image. Huh? No, there's a main header there. Can you see? If you're seeing my screen, uh, you should see. Can anybody see that? Uh, I'm not sure. If you're using a phone, it might be difficult, but your chat should have an image. Everybody can see, right? Uma can, Sister Uma can see. Okay, Sister Dimple can see. Rabi can see. Okay, good. Now, please click on that. Click open. All right, uh, I've got it open. There. And please save it somewhere. Please save it where? Where to save? Don't save anywhere. Save in your folder. Uh, so you should see this. You should see this, all right? If you're watching my, this is what? Please save it. Okay, where is it? Hang on. Okay, go to your chat. 
images ah please save it in your images folder please good click save as don't choose anything please make sure you go to your right folder if not it won't work ah uh, you must go back to your website website folder just now images and let's call it okay it's already done as main header and then the file can you see it's called png all right save it please after you save please recheck whether it is there please check whether the image is there ah uh, my image is there in the web page please make sure everybody is it there i'm going to give you one minute for you to quickly download this and save it okay ah uh, all right good thank you must be in images all right so now assuming you have put that let's go back let's go back let's go back to bootstrap now i need to copy the quotes for images so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to responsive image can you see that the quote for responsive image is here but don't copy verse because can you see this one doesn't have a box a box is called div container you don't have a container right so first let's type get a container first so i'm going to say in my search box <coughs> i'm going to say i want i need a container in your search box types container please get one container let's get a container uh, let's get a normal container default container Okay, let's get a container here. Okay, all right, and copy that container. Let's copy it. Please go back once you've copied your container. Go back and paste it in your subline. Where? All right, I've copied my container. I'm now back in my subline. I'm going to paste it somewhere at 68, 69, 70, somewhere there. Paste, Control V. Can you see that? Okay. So once you have pasted, it says here, put your content here. This is where I want to put my image code. Image code. So let's give some space here. Can you see? I've got a container. Remember, you must have a box first. If not, you can't put anything. inside that box i want to put my image now i need to copy my image code let's go back to bootstrap everybody is okay should i wait can right okay okay good now let's go back to your where image please type image in your bootstrap i want to choose images responsive image responsive image so let's quickly copy there here here responsive image copy this copy copy this thing what's a responsive image that means the image will follow and according to your phone size all right or your gadget size so have you copied all right let's go back to your subline please paste it in between inside the container can you please paste it ah uh, so you should get something like this we have we have not put we have not put any um, image yet. so it says here this is my container inside my container there is an image but the image doesn't have a name i need to put a name the three dots is where i put my name the three dots can be deleted So where is my image? Let's go and check. Where is my image? So where is my image? My image is in uh, here. This folder. Can you see images? Exact name, please. All right. So I'm going to go back to my subline and say, okay, my folder, my photo is in images. Slash. Ah, uh, slash. Can you see? That's my folder name. and please type your photo name what's your photo's name please go and check what did you put or what was the name of it the photo's name what's the photo's name photo's name is main header please follow the exact spelling capital letter small letter all must be exact 
If not, you cannot, it won't read. Must be exact. My H is big. Now, if you put your mouse on top, then you can check what file is this. Item type PNG file. Can you see that? Uh, some file will be different. You have to follow the exact PNG. All right, PNG can be small letter, doesn't matter. So I'm going to go back and say it's called main header H is big dot PNG, small g, small PNG. Save it, please. Save it, please. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Now, if you notice at the end here, at the end here, at the end here, there's also three dots. Now, what is that? You see, when you put a header here, main header, this is a photo. Google doesn't read the photo, cannot read the photo. So if somebody types Shivani, it won't link the photo to Shivani because it doesn't know what's this photo about. But if you say here, the photo is Shivani live in Malaysia. So instead of reading the photo, Google can actually read this and will bring those people to our web page. Can you see that? So this is instruction to Google saying, I've put a photo. The photo has got another meaning. If anybody types in your browser, Shivani live in Malaysia, please bring them here. Ah, so Google will know. So this is instruction to please save it. Go and check. Please go and check. You know, how does it come up or how is it working so far? Let's check. Does it work for you? Okay, not so bad. Looks okay for me. Can you see that? Ah, is anybody successfully getting it? Like how I got? Oh, fantastic. We have actually covered quite a lot. You have actually built the front page. Can you see that? Uh, of course, it's not fine-tuned yet. But you are already building the front page. All right. Uh, the whole idea we are doing this is we have many choices of how we want to do this. All right. Okay, good. So now we have already done two hours of work. There's a lot of things you have uh, been working. Can you see? Uh, so this is how we do it. Okay. And uh, what else is there? So, so your homework, I will again probably meet uh, next, hopefully we can meet next week, but I'll let you know, okay? Let me just check. So hopefully we can meet next, uh, next Saturday, if possible, same time, okay? And then we will try to finish up a little bit more and make the page perfect, front page, all right? So your homework, if you can, if you have the time, Start a new one. How? So, example, right? So you start a new one like this. You create a new web page, new folder. All right, call it my page, my testing page or something, whatever you want to call it. Redo the whole thing, create all the folders and recreate with a new picture or something, and then, yeah, try try doing it. Just practice one once, all right? And then once you have done, what do you do? You quickly uh, screenshot, and please WhatsApp it to me, all right? Screenshot and WhatsApp to me. I've done my first page. Don't worry about the page being ugly or what. It doesn't really matter because you're still learning, all right? Good. Okay, thank you. So are you okay? Is everybody all right? Any questions you have? I will wait for a while in case some of you want me to ask some questions or what. Okay. All right. It might have been a bit fast, but please try to. Sister Uma will, uh, Sister Uma, you'll post the video recording. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, everybody? brother. I couldn't 
get it done, the beginning itself. I know. You're I'm going to wait me. for you and guide you now. Okay, okay. so let's okay. have one minute silence if you don't have any questions. Okay, no, there are many to find out. Trying to find out how... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, John. Yeah. I'm trying Brother. to find out how our sublime text referred to the to the folder that we created. I can't see the connection. The website lessons, how how does website lessons appear on the on the sublime text? Ah, uh, okay. So let me share. Okay. Hang on, yeah. Okay, so. So how does it appear on the sublime text? Uh, so you are asking me again. Yeah, because when we, when we create the new our 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 what when when we do our what our homework, new folder. Yeah, how is the new folder going to? How how are you going to access that particular? This this one. Uh, okay. Yes. On All right. Sublime. So, I don't. Okay. So this is my new folder is empty, right? So what do you do is you. If you are in your new subline, okay, yes. so let's say this is my new subline, it's untitled. Can you see untitled? Yes. So I'm going to now just say save as and make sure you choose the right folder, the new folder. Okay, okay, all right. So uh, don't, don't put somewhere else, then you cannot access it. Okay, okay. All right, very good. Okay. That's okay. Any other questions related to this? I'm going to wait. Okay, but let's finish one minute silence first uh, because some of you may want to leave, but I'll be here for the next 15 minutes with some questions. Okay. All right. Let's just have one minute of silence. Om Shanti, those who have to leave, please carry on. I will wait for some questions. Okay, all right. See you next Saturday. Same time, if there's any changes, myself or Sister Uma we will send a message to you. All right. By the way, Sister Uma is the Malaysian social media head. So she handles all these things. So that is why she's everywhere. All right. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's start with some questions. Who wants to ask? Sister Dimple is asking how to change the language. Sister Dimple is asking how to change the language. Brother, I think right in the beginning, it mine went to Arabic language. <laughs> okay. So everything appeared from left then to right. Okay, fantastic. So, okay, let me just show you very quick how you want to change to Arabic language. I think Brother Rabbi, Rabbi is from, uh, is, is from uh, okay, he's using uh, Arabic language. Very simple. All right, watch here. Can you see this? It's called EN. Just change at the top. It's EN means it is English. So if you want Tamil... I did put... that, brother, but it doesn't work. No, you just have to put EN and save it. Okay, let's put Arabic. I'm not sure Arabic how... It was AR. I changed AR, it to good. Ah, let, let, let me just save AR. Okay. And see what exactly... This does to it brings everything from left to right. Uh, okay, so it doesn't do my much. No, mine. Uh, no, my nav bar is from right to left. The titles changed because we put center right. Correct. I think when you do it in the beginning itself, it beginning is itself it must change because uh, if not, yeah, because the left to right to left will be Arabic writing. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, so please change it. Okay. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, any other questions you're thinking of? And also, I couldn't change that nav bar to orange color. Why? I That part I didn't get. I don't know why. I cannot find the light. That one something I couldn't find. You Okay, quickly show you again. So here in the nav bar, I'm at number 31. Can you see the word light? Uh, I cannot see the word light. That's why I couldn't change it. Oh, and nav, nav. Do you see a nav, nav after yes. the H1? Yes. After the H1, what, what is your next line? 
the nav class nav bar ah. x so, yeah. lg bg body territory okay so do you have a bg bg do you have a bg yes bg body it says territory ah okay change it so just put bg warning finished just remove i not sure put we... warning ah bg warning is yellow so remove that remove whatever is there remove the whole bg and put bg warning i'm not sure i think you must have copied all the arabic stuff so that's why it's coming differently okay doesn't matter all right okay anything else okay good thank you all those who have to leave please leave okay, okay. any okay. any other questions okay. just sendra yeah brother you got to help me in uh, because the uh, microsoft edge logo is coming in and spoiling everything i'm not able to put it in the <laughs> okay all right I watch this what, no what is that, happening okay so watch this yours is microsoft edge correct yes so what you have to do is go here to the microsoft edge right click okay it might say show more options and say okay uh as change to do you have a change to here you should have convert no all right a uh, properties let's click properties there here can you see change change to what do you like click uh, google ah so that's why it Some says opens it. opens with microsoft edge no. so i change it to i have a, a abg secure browser Doesn't so matter. i put it abg secure browser okay uh, no you change it to google chrome so you right click on it uh, and click show more options uh brother oh. because i'm under abg security package and i'm using the abg uh brow secure browser we i can't use that huh? i have to use chrome is it no doesn't matter it's okay the abg will come in later when you are browsing but a uh, chrome will be the ideal lah so you click on okay, properties okay then i'll select the uh, chrome first brother hold uh, on ah huh? properties chrome you right click click properties yeah yeah i already uh changed to google uh, chrome i say okay, okay. Good. Very All right. Good. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, what do I do next, sir? <laughs> What's your See, difficulty this, here? This is where I was stuck and I couldn't move on. You know. Uh. Okay. Now, what do I do? I go back to my H. Uh, the uh, what do you call Sublime, and I go and file save as. Okay. Uh, and that is what I did when I said file save okay. as. It okay. You go to your file here. Save as. Click index. file. Save Index. as. All right. If you're watching what I'm doing, okay. You just have to type. It says all files, right? Yeah, yeah. Just type index all small letter dot. You must have a dot. Yes. Okay. I'm going to type something else. Okay. HTML. Uh, index dot HTML. Wait, I enlarge uh -huh. and see because it's a bit too small. Oh, you put index too, ah? Uh. No, 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 no. I simply put. You put index HTML. Index dot HTML. Yeah. And now I select the files too. No, no, no. Don't don't do anything. Just save it. Save. No, now this all files has disappeared yeah. now. You know. Doesn't matter. Just save it. Once you put dot HTML. Index dot HTML. Just save it. Yeah, but the same as type as type HTML. It's no more all files. I have to go and select the all files. Okay, just then click HTML. Oh, it's okay to do the save as a type HTML. Is it okay? Yeah. Can, but you can okay, just put dot HTML. It automatically will do it for you. Okay. Ah, uh, this is what I see on my screen. Okay, uh -huh. I save it. Ah. Huh? Yeah, save it. It says index HTML already exists, but I'll just replace it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Please done. Okay. So what's the next thing? <laughs> How do I enter into it? I mean, that's the thing, you know. I mean, oh, I, you want to enter? I see. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, fine. I didn't teach you that. All right. So supposing now, okay, uh, good question. Supposing now. How do I now, that, that file which I created. Hang on, uh, hang on. Okay, so now minimize your subline. Can you see? 
Yes, yeah. I've minimized my sublime. Okay. Yes. So if you're watching my screen, watch my screen for a while. So you see my sublime now is small, minimized. Yes. And so my folder is right here. I click. Can you see Where's click? your folder? Because I'm on the phone, uh, I need to scroll up and down. The space is too large, you know. Okay. Okay. So if okay. you're in, if you're on your website, lesson. Okay. So you can make it a bit small. So I have two tables here. One is my sublime on the right, and one is my folder, right? Uh, how do I make that? Uh? But can I open my sublime for? Oh, you can uh, go to your sublime, sublime. Go no, the to folder your... which I created has changed name to sublime. It was supposed to be lesson, right? Some lesson you told me, right? No, the folder name. Folder name. Website doesn't... lesson, right? Okay, you just change it later on. It's fine. So it can uh, be but anything. I can't open it also. I don't know. where. <laughs> okay, I think I will delete and do again, brother. Just sorry. Yeah? Just, okay. I will make a new folder. No, but let me show you how to open it. I, you go, yes, yes. You go to your click your file and say open, open folder. Okay, hold on. Open folder, yes. And then you go and choose your uh, whichever file. Okay, okay. Or in I this case, it to website file. Uh, in this case, you say open file, not folder, open file. Uh, hey, open uh, file. Just now I open folder, no? Uh, file, file. Choose file. Open. Uh, file. Uh, okay. But I seem to have got in there. But hold on, hold on. Let me do it again. Open file. file. Open file. Then you see your index. No. I, when I open file, uh, it's something else. So many like plugin, report. Uh, that's right. You, you, have to, you have to go and look for the particular folder. Uh, okay. Then open folder only I managed to give it. Mine, I open folder. I managed when I go in to the file which I first created as a website. Website lessons, right? Yeah, but but if you put folder, then you won't see your index because index is a file. You'll only um, see images and video. Uh, okay. Now it is an empty website lesson file. Ah, I mean, there's Sorry, nothing folder. there. For it's an empty website. No, no, no. Open. The index is there, but because you chose folder, the index cannot be seen. You need to choose file. Uh, so in your sublime, go and choose open file. file. Okay, I've opened a file and I have a list. Lib, packages, change log, crash. No, 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 no. Forget that. So now, where did you save your website lesson? Is it on the desktop? Yes, on the de uh, desktop. Uh, go yes. and click on your desktop. Click on your desktop. Uh, okay. Once you click on your nothing, website. Nothing is there, yeah. Uh, you, no, you need to click on your desktop so that yes. you look for your website lessons. Yes, yes. Have it click there. On your, uh, click on your website lesson. Yes. Then you'll see inside there's an index file. Uh, no. Uh, don't have nothing is there because I redid it. Because just ah, that means one. you have to save again. You have to save everything again. Uh, so, so I will create a folder with a new folder for images, right? Yeah. Uh, just give me a minute. And then the, another folder for uh so Mr. why don't you share your screen with me uh can also ah, please. Uh, but i'm on the phone brother oh, uh, phone. Can, uh, i can share share on the screen okay okay no you can't you can't okay fine okay i have okay the new uh, the second one what did you say yeah uh, the file is for what uh text uh. first one images the uh, folder is video images. video 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 okay hold on uh. because uh hold on Okay, and then the other one is the one you said index. Subline. Ah, you need to go so back to your one, subline. How do I do it? Okay, go to your go subline. To... Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, let me go to the uh, file. Open file, is it? Open file. Not open file. Now you're creating a new file, right? Yes, file. yes, yes. Save as. Ah, okay. Hold on. Save. Save as. Ah, okay. Save as. In... Index dot. Right. 
uh, HTML, uh, HTML. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And then now I have the say the file type. Uh, I have HTML. Can I say? No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't worry read. about sister. Don't worry about all those things. As long as you put index.html safe, it's automatic. Okay. That's it. So now uh, go back to your folder on the web page on your desktop. desktop. Double click on it. Hold on, huh? Just give me a minute to search for my. Brother, I really cannot find it now. No, no, Is click on your desktop. Click desktop. Um, Go back to your front page, your desktop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is on the desktop. I am on the desktop and I cannot find my. I think the location that you uh, see the index.html is different. It's because not into uh, the website I, I lesson. I really need it as a website lesson just now. And so I did you save it. in the folder of that in the desktop? Did you I, save I, in the index? The uh, location of the index.html in the website lessons folder or did you save it in somewhere else? Ah, that's why just now it saved it in somewhere it shows HTML as so all that. Choose the folder of the website lessons then save. Uh, sister, just give me a minute. Uh, you know what happened here? Even my file has disappeared. Let me restart again. Sorry, yeah. Wait, I <laughs> I have a folder here. Yeah, I have a laptop, right? No, sister, no. Laptop, I think, is much easier. Like everybody can follow. Mine is a desktop and phone. Uh, just a minute. I will open a, uh, I will open the desktop file. And laptop and seems okay, sister, never mind. You try first. You try. You locate your website lessons. Uh, just, okay. just give me a... Yes, yes. Yeah. Hold on. Huh? Hold on. Okay, now I have this open file here on my desktop with video and images. Now I'm going to HTML, file, go to file again, uh, and then uh, save as, huh? save as, okay. uh, index. I think I retype because the index is there. Let me retype it. The index uh, dot before you HTML. And then sure save the as a type. Save sure as a type. Location. Make sure your location is at the desktop. And Where are you saving it? Where are you saving it? Oh, so I have to open a website lesson first to save no. it, right? No. Right. You have, you have to, to save, save it at the right place. Ah. Okay. All right. All right. You can share your screen. Uh, okay. Uh, share your screen now. I, I, I'm saving it, sister. Now, wait. Huh? Let me see whether it goes in or not. Huh? You share your screen now. We can guide you. Sister, yeah. mine is a phone, sister. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't go in also. See, my images, videos is there, but it hasn't, whatever I see. No, no, here. sister, when you save as, remember when you save as? Yes. Okay. Now, please watch, watch, watch what I'm doing in my, your screen. Okay, I'm yes, going to. Yes, yes. Yes. I, okay, I see your screen first. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh, let see. So. Okay, so now I'm going to go to save as. Yes. Okay. Now, what is important? You see, you get all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. No. So you have to click this arrow up until you look for click until ah uh, the desktop is there. You need to click on the desktop. You need to uh... open this. Then only you save. So before you save, read on top what is written. Mm -hmm. So if you put your file here, it says desktop web. Ah, see? So you must have this. If not, it will be saved somewhere and you cannot locate. Okay, brother. I think I got it. You hold on. Ah, huh? You must have in the right folder of saving. Everything must be saved in this folder. If not, it won't work. Uh, just give me a minute. Let me open the folder. I think open. once you get this, the rest, you can see the recording. Yeah, and it's gone in already. Index. Ah. Uh, Chrome, Chrome is there already. Okay, okay so, brother. That means I've done it. 
All huh. the rest is what you thought, right? I think. Correct. Now uh, wait. Let me make sure you're okay one more time. Now, once you have done this, you open yeah. your website. If you want to open this, all right. So, please make sure uh, go to your Sublime, and then click Open File, and then make sure you choose your right desktop file where you saved it desktop. Then click on what you want to open, then click open, then it opens. Okay, just a minute. So now I go to open file and yeah. then click, or I, it's already now there. It's all, yeah. that file already. So um, I, do I click on the index? Yeah. Open. Can you? Uh, if or I open, one will come. The other option, the other option, watch the index. My sublime is here. Are you watching my screen? Yes. Watch, watch this. Huh? This is my yes. desktop. Yes, yes. See, I can move it. So what I do is I just hold the index and drag and put it here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me do that. Uh, that's the other easier way. Okay. Hold on, brother. Let me go and... Put it here. Hey, it doesn't right. go. Emma, I think the best way is go to the sublime and open. Uh, brother, when you dragged it, the whole thing came out, like all this uh thing, yeah. right? Yeah. But what yours thing? has nothing. Yours is nothing right now, so it won't come. Yeah, not nothing there. Uh, uh, but as long as the name on top changes to index.html, then you know you're right. Yeah, yeah. On my... um. Sublime. Sublime uh, on my sublime, there is index.html. Ah, that means successful. So then I can do whatever you ask yes. us to do. Please uh, do. That. Okay, so so I think once I get your recording. Yes, you should start <laughs> practicing. I will start when I get my recording only. I don't know when 